Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. Hey, yeah. fellas, welcome back to another episode of Kodar, and we are here in this temple. Um, that everyone's been talking about here on the Unknown World. Head over to the left first, and I'm gonna try and kill mostly everybody in here to get all the experience I can. Um, basically, that's what you should do also. Um, I don't know if I should narrate all the battles, because it's pretty self-explanatory what you need to do. There's patrol droids and Sith, and usually Sith Acolytes and Sith and Dark Jedi, and like, Sith Masters and all that crap here in the, in this, uh, every single temple door here. So, I think this is the west wing, I'm pretty sure, or like, to the west or the north. I think it's, yeah, it's north if you look at the map up there. This is like, considered the north wing. So visit every single door, I'm pretty, just visit every single, um, temple door inside. There's usually a Sith Acolyte or like a Sith Master or something. Get a lot of experience and if you're waiting till that special, like the best dark side move comes soon, at level 18, you can get Force Storm. And I think you can get Death Field too, but four storm I would get first, and then when you're on the Star Forge level up a couple times, you can get Death Field and other stuff. But anyway, okay, I think I just will narrate because I feel like talking Sith acolytes and droids usually are in this place with all Sith masters, so you don't have to worry too much. Critical Strike will work really good. Destroy Droid works really good. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's get the Foot Locker. And pick up everything. And there is an armory, and as well as a workbench in here, so you can you get some pretty good crystals here. So um, I'll tell you what the best crystals are later. Um, yeah, if you also have force immunity, that's a really good attack to have force power to have in this um, temple. Cause there's a lot of freaking dark Jedi and Sith. A lot. Um. Uh, it's really rare for me to record without my capture card nowadays, since I have one, I should take advantage of it, but since I, I didn't feel like stop recording, I just felt like doing this. So, um, I'm recording with my camcorder again. Here we go, here's Dark Jedi. Some of them have cutscenes like this one. Riven, you are back. We have sworn allegiance to Malak. He has led the Sith to conquest and victory. Your time is over, Revan. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly for destroying you. You might have some problems here. Uh, Force immunity is really good here. But it can run out, too. You, you could have some big problems here, just saying. Because these Jedi are a lot tougher than the other ones. Um, see, both of my party members got effed up. So I'm gonna have to use Force Immunity again eventually, but I'm not paying attention to my arrow. Um, come on now. There's one down. Oh no, my Force Immunity ran out. Shit. Well, make sure that you have your force immunity up as best as you could. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, come on. There we go. Just die. Alright, everyone gets to level up good. Level you up, Jolie. Okay, over here to the right, there's another cutscene with another Sith. Revan, Lord 
Malak told us you still lived. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so Not even close, buddy. Not even close. Well, maybe we'll be close if I epically fail here, but... Then again... In hopes I would get whatever. Mortal Kombat. This sounds like a freaking Japanese crazy guru guy. Mortal Kombat. Oh, he has force immunity kit, too. Good move. Force power to have. But people don't have real levels in real life. Oh yeah, where'd you get that force power? I got that level 70. I got that at level, uh, 16. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway. Oh, that's Death Field. That's a good move. Death Field is a really good dark move. It It's like Drain Life, except you can do it on multiple people. Extremely awesome. He keeps using Death Field, which is annoying. And my force of immunity ran out again. So now I'm screwed. Uh, come on, man. Once I get out of conscious... Um, I gotta use force immunity. Come on. This guy's a bitch. There you go. Okay, I got it. Now I can own him. Here we go. Critical strikes are really good. Power attacks and critical strikes. Flurries if you really want to. Here he's almost dead. One more force lightning. Oh my god. He has a med pack too? This is like... Crazy. Jo jo uh, Jolie's pretty much dead. Let me use a critical strike to kill him. About time you died. Ooh, that took like 100 years there. Um, good old heals were good. Oh, there's the armor. This is where you can, um, you got Generox Crystal. That's a good crystal. Um, the armory. Sorry about that. A little sister came down. She's annoying me, but anyway. Boring, go away. Lock that door. <laughs> okay, so here's a workbench. Basically, um, Generox and Sigil or whatever. I'm gonna use, um, Upari. That's a new one. It goes 4 to th 34 power. Um, let's see if any other ones are better. Luxum, Crate Dragon Pearl, 5 to 30. 4 to 34 is the best range I've had so far. Um, Upari and, wait, uh, Solari. That's a good one, too. Huh. Generux, no. Let's do Sigil. Sigil and Upari. That's the best one I think right now. Unless Upari's better. Or Sigil and um, Generux or whatever. I don't remember. Whatever. Um, I'm going to check out all these doors here. Nothing that much. That's pretty much the main things right there. Those two things with the. Those two battles with the main things. Just some of the optional battles here. Well, that was optional too, but all this is actually optional. I, I do it for experience. I to, I'm gonna level up soon anyway, so yeah. Uh, um, computer, nah, that's nothing that important for me at least. Because I know the area. So we're over here now, and we, the place that we need to go, <laughs> you're probably just wondering why, why we in this temple in the first place, is um, that's just a shortcut door, I think. But I think there's Sith on the side. I'm pretty damn sure there are some stuff here. Eh. Anyway, um, yeah. Here's a room covered pillar, and this is the way to the Sith catacombs. So yeah, the Sith catacombs are over here. Um, I think it's past this door. No, I think I'm wrong. It's not back here, is it? Nope. But you have to go back to the uh, before. Where we were before, and we're gonna head over to the catacombs, and we have to do the floor puzzle. But I'm gonna do that next episode because I think I'm around like 10 or 11 minutes anyway. So, um, even though some of the stuff will get edited, edited out, so head over here to the temple door, open that up. It's gonna be droids here. Take them out with these. Droid, droid is a good move. Also, 
uh, disable droid, any of those three droid uh, force power moves, and open up the strong box. But it's not that strong, it just has a um, life support pack, which I might need sometime when I'm on the Star Forge. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to call it a video now, so um, next time we'll solve that floor puzzle and crap. So, yeah. I will see you guys next time.